What's wrong with me? It might be your first reaction when something happens with friends or family or work. The chances are it's not you. It's the world you were born into. A world whose terms and conditions you never signed up to. But now that you're here, it helps you have a guide to the terrain and how to escape it. And that's exactly what this Tibetan Buddhist mandala, showing the wheel of life, is designed to give you. To look at this image is to look in the mirror, to see yourself and how and why you suffer the way you do. It's the same for everyone. We understand less than we'd like to admit. We're pig ignorant if we're being uncharitable. Our anger and our fear build so fast, they can take us by surprise, whipping and snapping like a snake. And we get proud like a rooster of people and things in the world. We become hopelessly attached to them. Each of these habits feeds off the others, like three animals biting one another's tails. Bad news all round, it seems. But actually, it's not. This mandala shows us that we live in the best of all possible worlds. In higher realms, the gods are distracted with pleasure. Those in the lower realms are overcome with pain. Our lives contain just the right balance of both to help us see the bigger picture. That all of this, pleasure and pain, the cycle of birth, death and rebirth, is forever changing and turning. And that escape is possible. The Buddha has done it. He is free of the cycle. And through his teachings, he shows us how we can do the same. It's a truth and a destination that can never be captured in words. Instead, the mandala pictures it as a far-off moon. And the Buddha points the way. The painting that you see before you is the only painting in the entire early corpus of Buddhist scriptures that the Buddha says needs to be placed in every monastery. It's incredibly important because it indicates exactly what the Buddha saw and through that seeing what he understood when he was enlightened. In the center of the painting, you will see three animals on a red background holding onto each other's tails. A snake, a cock, and a pig. These three animals indicate the three poisons of hatred, lust, and ignorance that are understood to be the metaphorical gasoline that drives this entire wheel. What those three poisons cause is the rising and the falling of beings, up to heavens and down through hells. Just outside the central red circle is a half-white, half-blue circle. The figures in the white section on the left side are doing good deeds, which gives them good karma and better rebirths as they move toward enlightenment. On the right side, you'll see beings who are acting from lust, hatred, and delusion. And through those actions, they are falling into hell. The next circle outside that one has six panels that show the six states of existence through which beings rise and fall, according to their positive and negative karma, or actions. This most important and most magical of realms is in fact the human realm. It is only by achieving a human rebirth that one can attain nirvana, or the Buddhist enlightenment, and escape the entire cycle of existence, which is what you see on the outer rim of this circle. The 12 images in the outermost rim show the chain of causality. Each one of these conditions causes the next. The most important one is at the very top. Birth causes death. And so the two are intimately linked, and there is no escape from this circle. It is this circle and its endlessness 
that the Buddha saw when he was enlightened. He saw one more thing as well, and that is the fearsome figure who is holding the wheel. This is the demon Mara, emblem of time, death, and illusion. Mara holds the entire cosmos in his hands, and it is precisely by seeing this vision and understanding the structure of the cosmos that the Buddha was enabled to escape from the cycle of existence. And this is precisely why the earliest Buddhist scriptures prescribe this painting to be depicted in every monastery. It's the essence, in pictorial form, of Buddhist philosophy. Studying this work is a meditation in itself. Many Buddhists understand the Wheel of Life as an encapsulation of all the various teachings that bear on meditation. By meditating on the wheel, Buddhists hope to realize the same nirvana that the Buddha did 2,500 years ago. Thank you.